Welcome to Financial Assistance through the Girl Scouts of Western Washington. This is a slideshow presentation that will take about five minutes and will walk you through our eligibility options, grant choices, ways to submit your requests, and FA resources. There are three ways to qualify for a financial assistance program. You can submit a copy of the qualifying letter for free or reduced by school lunch from the school district, or submit the TANF or SNAP basic food client ID number, or submit the FA eligibility form. Here's a copy of that FA eligibility form. The children's information goes at the top of the form here, and if they have any income, it goes in this section. The middle section is where the adult's information goes. The amount of income and the payment frequency all go in this section. The bottom section is where you put the total number of people in the household, and don't forget to sign the bottom. Each qualified girl will be eligible for four grant requests. Those requests can be mixed and matched for the membership dues grant for this year or next year. Make sure you have at least one grant request left when early registration opens up to request the membership dues grant to renew. The troop dues grant. The supply voucher grant. This is good for up to $60 at the Girl Scout store. Supply vouchers are mailed directly to the family. The family can then take the voucher to the Girl Scout store or give the voucher to a troop leader or other adult if you want someone else to pick up those items. If it's a hardship to get to the Girl Scout store, they can call the store and place their order over the phone and use their voucher number. Financial assistance can pick up the tab in the shipping and handling chart for those supply voucher items. And the event and workshop grants. All activities on the Girl Scouts of Western Washington's calendar of events are eligible for FA. All service unit events, including in Campery, are also eligible. Each qualified girl will also be eligible for one camp or travel grant. Camp grants are up to $600 for one session of camp. All Girl Scouts of Western Washington resident camps qualify, along with volunteer and community camps. Travel grants are also up to $600 and can be used for travel opportunities hosted by Girl Scouts USA, or Girl Scouts of Western Washington, or even hosted by a Girl Scout troop. The back of the FA request form and our website has more details about these grants. But I'm an adult, can I get FA? You betcha. We use the same guidelines for adults as we do for girls. For adults to receive FA, they must be in one of these troop positions. Troop leader, co-leader, treasurer, cookie manager, first aid specialist, or outdoor specialist. Each qualified adult will be eligible for four grant requests that can be mixed and matched for the following grants. The membership dues grant. For this year or next year, same thing. Make sure you have at least one grant request left when early registration opens up next spring. The supply voucher grant. Adults can request a supply voucher for themselves to cover the cost of their membership pin, world track royal pin, and pin tab. Or, if they are the O1 troop leader, they can request an adult supply voucher for their troop. This is good for up to $60 in the Girl Scout store to cover items such as how-to guides and activity sets. And the event and workshop grants. The event and workshop will qualify if it is listed on the Girl Scouts of Western Washington's calendar of events and satisfies one of these two conditions. You are required to attend for your troop position, such as jump into journeys, outdoor learning, or first aid, or you are required to attend to maintain girl-to-adult safety ratios. Here's a sample of our FA request form. If it's for you, you put your name at the top, and if it's for your daughter, you put her name at the top. This middle section is all about eligibility. Put a check mark next to the one of the ways to qualify. If you need to submit a document, such as a school lunch letter or the FA eligibility form, staple it to this form. This big section here is where all the grants are listed. The four requests that can be mixed and matched that we talked about earlier are here at the top of the section, and the Camp and Travel Grant is listed at the bottom of the section. The bottom of this form has to be signed by the parent or guardian. If it's not, it will be returned to the family for a signature. That part is required. Electronic signatures cannot be accepted at this time, unfortunately. If you are requesting a supply voucher, make sure you mark a program level, brownie, junior, adult, etc. If you're requesting an event or camp grant, the applicant must first be registered for the event or camp, then submit the FA request form with this information written in.
You do not need to request all four grants at one time. You can request them individually throughout the year, whatever is easier for the family. Our webpage is really easy to get to. Go to Girl Scouts of Western Washington homepage, then click the green trefoil button, and then financial assistance will be the fourth option on the left. This screenshot is a copy-paste job, so the top and the bottom fit on one slide. The top part of the webpage lists all of the grants we offer. The bottom part of the webpage lists the forms and how to submit them by mail, email, or fax. If you are viewing the slideshow during a, a workshop or a seminar, ask the facilitator for handouts. There will be a roadmap for FA, frequently asked questions, a printout of the FA webpage, sample forms, blank forms, and more. I'm sure you have questions, so look over all of this material, get an idea what FA is all about, but if you have any questions, feel free to call me or email me anytime.